everybody! Welcome to the Knitted Kitchen Blog Hop. I'm Pia from Stitches and Scraps, and today we're working on square number seven, the Itty Bitty Bobble Square. I'm working with Lion Brand 24-7 Cotton Yarn. In today I'm working with the Lilac Colorway. So you can see I've got several of the rows done already, and I'm going to be working on a bobble row now, so I want to show you how to actually make the bobbles. So let's start on this row. Okay, so we start like we normally do with our garter stitch border, sorry, seed stitch border. And now two knit stitches for the edge, and then a couple more to get me into position. Okay, so now I'm ready to make a bobble in this stitch right here. The first instruction on this row to make the bobble is we want to increase from this one stitch all the way up to five stitches. So to do that, we're going to knit, purl, knit, purl, knit, all in the same stitch. So it's knit, oh, I shouldn't have taken it off, knit, and then bring your yarn in front to purl. Okay, now that's two stitches. Now bring your yarn back behind and knit again. Okay, it's going to get a little tight. Try and keep it as loose as you can. Now bring it in front and purl again. So now I've done knit, purl, knit, purl, and then there's one more knit. And you notice the stitches start to twist a little bit. That's okay. Go ahead and let them. It's not going to hurt anything. Um, when you come back out, it'll be all nice and straight. And there we have a knit, purl, knit, purl, knit. So those are our five stitches and we can move on um, to the next stitch. And for right now, that's all we're doing. We're increasing the five stitches. So we do three knit stitches in between and now we're ready for another bobble. So knit, don't remove it from the hook or from the needle, purl, Bring the yarn back, knit, purl, and then knit. Okay, there's my five stitches, one, two, three, four, five, and three stitches in between. And knit. Pearl, oops, pearl, knit, pearl, and knit. Okay, five stitches, three stitches in between. two stitches, or sorry, three stitches. Okay, I'm going to do this one really slow because I think I might have been going too fast for some of you on one of these. So knit, and don't remove it from the needle. Bring your yarn to the front and purl. Again, don't remove it from the needle. Bring your yarn to the back, knit, Bring your yarn to the front, purl, bring your yarn to the back, and knit. Okay, and there's five stitches. Three in between, and now I'm just going to do it quickly to finish off the row. Knit, 
row. Now normally, after, to make a bobble, after you finish these five stitches, you would turn your work around and go back the other direction and then come back the other direction again. And for each bobble, you'd be turning your work two or three times um, and finishing the bobble off on this one row. But this method, the, these little tiny bobbles, they're made over two rows, so we don't have to do all that turning of our work for each bobble. Oops, that should be a knit. And again, it's easy to make these too tight. You want to try and keep them, keep an even tension. I mean, you don't want them loose, but you don't want them so tight that you have trouble working into them on the next round or next row. And do I have five there? One, two, this one got a little twisted here. I'll pull it off when I get to it on the next round. One. Two, three, okay, now I'm back to my edging here. Um, knit, purl, knit, and whoops, and purl. So now if you look at this row, what we've done is we've taken all of the spaces where we want there to be a bobble and we've increased to five stitches. And when you pinch that together, you sort of see the bobble starting to form. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back the other way and decrease back down again. And that pinches it together and makes the bobble. Okay, so now for the wrong side row, we're going to start the way we normally do, slip, knit, purl, and knit. And then we're going to purl all the way over to the first bobble. So purl, purl. I think there's four purls here. Okay. Now you can tell we're at the bobble because all five of these stitches, and there are five stitches here, there they are, one, two, three, four, five, they're all coming out of this same stitch right here. So that's our bobble. And to finish the bobble, what we're going to do is we're going to first knit all five of those stitches. Two, this is the one that got a little twisted, so we straighten it out. Three, four, five. Okay. And then now we're going to decrease them. So we're going to pass them over each other. What the instructions say is to pass the previous stitch over the last stitch four times. So right now this is the previous stitch and it goes over the last stitch. So that's once. Now we've got another previous stitch that goes over the last stitch. So that's twice. And try not to split the yarn. So that's twice and then three times and again remember you want to keep a little bit of uh, looseness in this um, because otherwise your bobble will just be a little tiny hard little dot um, so there's four times I've passed four stitches over and now I'm going to well you can see the four here one two three four so now you can see that we took five stitches and turned it into one so now I'm gonna work my way across to the next bobble which is again uh, pearls because I'm on the wrong side. So three pearls. Now I'm at the next bobble. Knit all five of those stitches. And then pass four of them over. And it's really easy to forget this step and then you've got to go all the way back. Oh, I split that one. There we go. 
and then you've got to go all the way back and uh, and start over from the beginning of that one. There's no way to like drop down and fix it. You have to actually rip it out. Um, and ripping it out is a little challenging with the bobble stitches. You have to do it carefully stitch by stitch. You can't just rip, otherwise you'll go back to a row where there's no bobbles because it's hard to pick that up once you just rip it out. So moral of the story, check your bobbles before you move on um, to make sure that you've remembered the step of closing them. Um, otherwise you're going to have some redoing to do. So I knit the five and now I'm pulling four of them over. And then purl three. And that puts me in the right spot again, so knit five. Now I'm going to pull four of them over. There's one, two, three, four. And you can see the bobble forming at the back too when we do this. Let me do one more and then I'll show you. Um, what it looks like from the front. Okay, so you can see that we've got a little bobble that, that popped out in the front there. When we finish this row, we'll turn it around and we'll see what the whole front row looks like again. So I'm at the next bobble, knit five. and then pull four of them over. I was saying to myself five, four, three when I was doing this, um, cause it's knit five and then pull four over and then purl three to get to the next bobble. So five, four, three. And that makes it really easy to remember for this particular pattern, um, the stitch counts. So five, four, and three. And of course that doesn't work at the edges because you got some extra stitches at the edge and the rows are staggered, but when you're going through it, it's easy to, to keep track. over. And you can see once you've done a couple of bobbles this starts to get much faster. Um, so don't worry, I know that looks like there's a lot of bobbles but you'll get through them just fine. I think this is my last one for this row. So I'll do it slowly because I've been going kind of fast. So we're knitting five. One, two, three, four, and five. Now we have five stitches there. We're going to drop this down to one by passing four over. So one, two, and when I pass it over, I'm kind of adding some tension here to make this loop a little smaller. That helps to make it pass over smoothly. So three and four. Okay, now I have my bobble. And I'm at the end of the row, so I'm just going to finish it off. And then we'll flip it over and take a look. Oops. Pearl. Okay, that's the end of my row. So let's take a look at the front here, and you can see how the little bobbles are peeking out. And if one of them tries to smush its way into the back, just push it forward. It should stay, um, particularly after we block it, after the first washing, it should tighten up and hold everything in place. So there you have it, the itty bitty bobbles. Thank you for joining me, and I hope to see you again on the next fun square.